Hey foodies, welcome and welcome back to Cooking with Kiana. In today's recipe, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of my favorite southern meals in a great comfort food recipe. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make southern style stew chicken. If you guys want to learn how to make this recipe, keep on watching. Make sure you guys leave a like and a comment below if you guys enjoyed the recipe. Now let's get started. So here are all the ingredients that you'll be needing for this recipe. So first I'm going to start off by showing you guys all of the seasonings that I'm going to be using. So today I'm going to be using one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, one tablespoon of herbs de Provence, and two teaspoons of black pepper, and two teaspoons of complete seasoning. Then I have one Maggie Boyon cube, the chicken flavor. I have one onion chopped finely, as well as two stalks of celery chopped finely as well. I will have the full recipe listed in the description box below if you guys miss an ingredient just go ahead and check that out i will have the detailed recipe left in the description box for you guys so for chicken today i'm going to be using two chicken thighs and three drumsticks however you can add some chicken breasts in there as well if you would like so as far as vegetables today i'm going to be using one bell pepper and i'm just going to go ahead and chop that finely as well as two large carrots and two cloves of garlic I'm also going to be using one fourth of a cup of flour and three cups of water. Okay, so now I have my chicken and we're just going to go ahead and take those seasons and mix those all together until those are well combined. Of course, you want to make sure you wash your chicken off really well and pat that dry. That way there's no excess water. And then, of course, I always just like to go in with a little bit of oil before I add my seasoning to my chicken just so that seasoning could better adhere to the chicken. So now you want to go in with clean hands. If you don't feel comfortable using your hands, you can use gloves. But the goal is you just want to make sure you really massage that seasoning into our meat. That way the chicken is well penetrated and you have flavor all throughout. So right now you just want to go ahead and refrigerate that for at least three hours so that could sit and marinate. All right, so now it's time to stir our chicken or at least get a good browning on that chicken because we all know color equals flavor so just go ahead and add in your chicken make sure you have a good amount of space in your pan make sure you don't crowd that pan too much because we want our chicken to cook evenly so I'm going to stir this on a medium to high heat for about five minutes on each side and then after I'm done with one side I'm just going to go ahead and flip that over keep in mind we're not going to be totally cooking our chicken right now because we are going to be letting that simmer later in that gravy Now once your chicken is nice and golden, it is time to remove it from that pan. See how you got that nice golden crust with that nice sear? That is what you want, all right? All that caramelization is flavor and that's just gonna add to our gravy. Now once you're done removing your chicken, you want to make sure you don't wash out your pan. We're going to leave all that seasoning in there. That's going to add more flavor to our gravy. We're just going to go ahead and add in four tablespoons of butter. Let that melt. Make sure your stove is on a medium to low. And now we're going to add in our onions. As well as the bell peppers, the carrots, and the celery. So now you just want to go ahead and give that a good stir. Let those vegetables soften up a bit. So you're going to let these saute for about two minutes. Then lastly, you're going to go in with your garlic. Make sure you add that in last because the last thing you want is bitter garlic that will throw off the whole gravy. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my one fourth cup of flour and you just want to add that in little by little and you want to keep stirring that. You want that flour to cook out because you do not want that flour taste in your gravy. So you're just going to go ahead and keep stirring that until it is a light brown color. Now I'm going to go in with my three cups of water. And just go ahead and give that a good stir and if you want to you can add your water in gradually and that'll just help your gravy get thicker faster so i do suggest that if you want to cut down on the amount of time it takes you to make this meal all right so once we're done stirring everything together you're going to go in with your nor chicken cube or you can use a Maggie Boyon cube. Now I like to use the cubes because it has a little bit more flavor than just regular chicken stock. But if you want regular chicken stock, you could substitute that. 
and just don't add the water and just add in the chicken stock but trust me the cubes give it way more flavor now at this point you can go ahead and give that gravy a taste see if you want to add something to it i decided to add some cajun seasoning some accent seasoning and some black pepper and i just added about a teaspoon of each but just go ahead and season this to taste all right, so you want to go ahead and stir everything together. Make sure all those flavors are well combined. And don't worry if your gravy is a little bit thin, it is going to thicken up. So now we're going to go ahead and add in our chicken. And of course, you want to make sure you spread that out so it can cook evenly. At this point, you want to make sure your heat is on a low to a simmer. All right, so now that we have added all of our chicken to our pan, we just have one final step. And that's just to go ahead and smother these chickens. So just go ahead and pour your gravy over every single chicken. Make sure it is fully, fully, fully coated in that sauce. Now I can cover this with a lid and let this cook on a simmer for about an hour. And do not make fun of my lid. It's not a lid, it's just a pan. And I just put it on top because I didn't have a lid. Okay, so now that our stew chicken has been simmering for about an hour, it is done. So the last step is just to go ahead and baste it one more time with that gravy just to make sure it is nice and juicy. All right, so now we are gonna go ahead and plate this. And I'm just gonna plate this with some white rice. Just gonna go ahead and add the chickens on top. And there you have it, Southern style brown stew chicken. And of course, we can't forget that extra gravy. The best part is the part where the gravy and the rice touches and you just take a spoonful of that chicken and you eat it all together. So delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's super simple to make. It's great comfort food and it's absolutely delicious. If you guys wanna follow this recipe and make this recipe at home, the full recipe will be listed in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next recipe.